Lamat offers lessons on immortel. Time to spray deep into this note. The sugar of a woman's skin. A sexy human's gourmand. Ready to leave all those sugar celebrity mashups the anti-aging perfume another high score we'll see Minda Tarosa's La Matte on the channel today I'm Brandon therapeutic fragrance stay tuned all right check that out handmade by Italian passion I've talked more about this presentation more than anything else this was one of my most amazing unboxings I ever had. I wish I got this one on video. Their their presentation is bar none, Mende Tarosas. And even the box before this had two different unwrappings beyond that. Um, I saved the trinket. I got that on there pretty good. This is this is even heavy-duty metal trinket, too. And you, this, they call it Italian twine. I mean, they can tell me anything. With this kind of presentation, I believe. So this is a coffin. This is an actual coffin for it. Then the fragrance sits right in there. And we're not done here. When you get this, I mean, you have the twine here. The white stone here. Perfect white stone cap. Just one of the best presentations there is with that gold uh, juice. Juice should be showing pretty good now. Pretty sure I got lighting on point. This is 250 euro, 100 ml. I put this 50-50 um, all day, every day down the line, masculine, feminine. Oriental uh, fragrance, floral fragrance, and Sophie uh, Bihagel is the nose behind this. My apologies if I mispronounced that. 4.3 out of 5 uh, on uh, Fragranic with 195 votes. When I originally wrote this, it only had 160 votes about six months ago. So uh, this perfume has picked up a lot of steam for how old it is. Um, launched in 2014. So 20, what's that, 20% of the votes coming in the last six months since 2014. So definitely a lot of people on this fragrance. Um, it's been reviewed a lot. It's, I'm putting it on the channel because the composition needs to be on the channel. Um, so you see me going back. It, it's just an important one to have and talk about. Um, we'll see. I, th I think I'm going to add a couple important things here. But um, most of you know about it already. Head notes, nutmeg, black pepper, cloves. Heart notes, geranium, rose, uh, centifolia from grass. Base notes, Indonesian patchouli, cashmere woods, Spanish immortel. It's an x dot perfum at 25% concentration. Yeah, this is the art of the complete package. From the moment of delivery, it's clear that they care about this juice and what's in it. If you're going to get a gift and want people to be wowed while they open it in front of everybody, th this is has <laughs> to look into. I mean, it's just it's one of those stunning presentations. From the wooden crate to the Italian twine to the metal trinket, to the stone trinket around the bottle, to the stone cap. Just an amazing experience. I ordered mine straight from the house. Um, it was a discount they had. Uh, that's how I usually do almost everything. I have my list. I know what it is. As soon as I see discounts on that list, that's I'm buying so much, i got to save what I can. So that, that's literally how I do it, unless I absolutely know something's going to sell out or have to have it. I mean, that, that's that's my process. Let's put a spray on. Check out this atomizer. Um, this is something I don't want on the bracelet, so I probably won't put that back on today. But check out, or put on the wrist, check out this atomizer. This is one of the best I have right here. This, this is the thing of beauty right here. Catch that. <sighs> Clouds of love. Clouds of love. First sniff is my favorite. Because it dissipates. I'm sure it has to do with the alcohol concentration in it. But it, it adds just a powerful boozy note to it. Um, I, I don't know if it's perfume or not. But as soon as it sets in the skin. I mean it's it's like skin chemistry just reacts. Um, this is a bit different on paper for me. Than it is on skin. That's why I always go skin. These people on paper. I'm like what are you doing? It, it, you just can't. I, I brought this. It was meant to throw this video that peter did with the sister and you just 
go, go see that. They're literally smelling two different perfumes. They, they put the same spray bottle on each of them. They're smelling, describing two different perfumes. And then they show each other's wrists and they gr agree with each other. That's how important skin chemistry is in this game. Okay. I've said that many times for my viewers that have been here, but that's an important thing that we did. Anybody that knows me, x straights are my favorite. This one doesn't disappoint at all. I'm willing to spray five pumps usually when I spray on this juice. Um, this is something, this is a perfume where you want to go out. This is a perfume you want to go out on. Uh, let's get into that Immortel. That is the story in this perfume. Just from the presentation, when I bought it, um, I was in the middle of buying rose perfumes. I thought I was getting a rose perfume. And when I got it, I mean, I liked it. I loved it. But I'm like, how is, what is rose doing here? And it, I've had this about a year exactly now. I got it. Um, it was actually the day after Valentine's Day I got it last year. I remember because I'm like, oh, this might make my list for next year, <laughs> Valentine's Day. So, yeah. So, we still have a little a month to go. But, um, anyways... The rose didn't show up, and I'm like, what is that? I didn't know it was Immortel. I wasn't familiar with the note at that point. So having smelled it in a, a few other compositions, nothing quite like this. Um, definitely know that Immortel is the uh, powerhouse in this fragrance, is the story in this fragrance. The people on Fragranica got it spot on on this one. Uh, many other reviewers um, spot on with Immortel. I agree with all of that. I always... Every note I've always wrote down was a sugary syrup on the skin, a toasted syrup on the skin. I had no idea. That's actually the Immortel that's given that off of. If you look up Immortel, that's the one of the exact notes that everybody comes up with for it. I'm like, I had no idea that was a flower that did that. Just a super bright, crisp, toasted maple on your skin. I'm calling this... Literally a human sugar musk is what I called it with my fun names. I didn't, again, didn't know it was Immortal, but it's literally the Immortal, the star of the show, just showing off here. A boo shot I get right away. Immortals is aided by a strong cast of composed characters in the form of spices, rose, geranium, and a special patchouli. The rose is spicy. The woods in here, the cashmere woods, are white, very white and sub subtle. The immortal is the shining solo coming across like a toasted maple with a backdrop of dried blonde tobacco and a little bit green still, a little bit green tobacco. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the tobacco leaf aging process. Sometimes cigar rollers will actually... Uh, roll the green leaf now it became a trend especially a few years ago um but this is like in between that green and blonde just dry uh almost tea like notes that you'll get as this wears on uh in the perfume the immortal uh is the effect of that the the sweetness is stunning don't get stuck on that sweetness word at all it really doesn't wear like that. It's like the perfect beverage adult or, or, or non-adult beverage where they add in um, bits of fruit, maybe some simple syrup, lightly handed. You're, you're barely getting just the perfect amount. You wouldn't call that drink a sugar drink, but you know it's a bit sweet. It's, it's like that effect. It's sweet, but it's not. It's there, but it's adult. Um, it, it, it wears very like a mature sweet would not put it in a gourmand category, even with all that syrup talk and all that sweet talk in there. Now let's, let's go with the composition and the wearing. You're getting a brand new scent with this one. Sticky, yummy, absolutely stunning. Again, sounds like a gourmand, but that patchouli that is used in so many classical scents twists this and turns this into something magical. Um, it just, it, it, it's perfect. I'm very familiar to what patchouli does to compositions and what it's doing with the immortal here is just, um, it's the accord. 
those two things backed by the rose and geranium florals, slight woods, but the patchouli and emmertel just form this special connection together on my skin, on my wear, from how I descri- uh, hear other people describe about this. It's an accord for the ages, in my opinion. This is definitely no classic composition. This is made for the modern human with all of our hustle bustle, all the obstacles we face. This is a, an accord that just puts us through that and lets us leap over those obstacles. It's a sugar musk that will soon not be forgotten. It's like putting on a brand new outfit, coming into your night evening, everybody noticing you with their minds imprinted and you making and you making an, uh, an imprint on your image. Everyone prepared to have your nose imprinted that with the sugar musk that will be forever locked into people's memories, locked into people's scent locker, one that you and they will uh, long to smell again and again. One of my favorite things is to, um, I imagine this one as like the perfect partner, him, her fragrance. Um, it just partners well at that 50 50. It's just that modern, sexy, sugar, syrupy love that you want your skin to have an essence of. To, to me, it's the perfect date, perfect going out, power couple uh, kind of fragrance. That's how I picture it. The heart definitely gets drier and drier and drier, giving it a slight summer uh, hay nuance with a light tea. The overall accord talked about never leaves the scent at all. It just continues to get a bit drier as the sun's drying it, if you will. With a brand new uh, composition and fume entered into the world. It just works and all comes together at once. Immortel lofts in the air against the syrup of a woman's skin. Immortel lofts in the air against man's skin essence. An accord we're lucky to have shared with the world. Scoring from the Mott Mendeterosa, 14 out of 15 for experience. Projection, 5 out of 5. Branding, originality, 5 out of 5. Longevity, 5 out of 5. Composition, 20 out of 20. Ingredients, price to mill, 21 out of 25. Top, of 10 out of 10. Heart, 5 out of 5. The base, an 8 out of 10. Total score of 93. Collection, worthy, special fragrance. Where for me, dates, like I mentioned, uh, my go-to for that all year long. Summer, definitely not the heat of the day, but those special summer evenings in your nice dress down, short le- short sleeve silk shirt. Nothing better than this, especially while you're out smoking a cigar with the sunset. Who do I see wearing this? Dun 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 la 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 Lady Gaga Big names big perfumes Lady Gaga I've been waiting forever I had her named on this almost the first time I ever wore this Minda Therosa get her a bottle let's show Hollywood what perfumes are becoming like what these accords are becoming like this is a stellar composition in the world. There we go. How many sprays? One to five for me. I will go up to five on this one. Uh, projection. This is going to project. People can smell it. It is a two-foot projector. Siage, same thing. It's long-tailed. You're going to get a four to, to six to seven foot siage behind you. Walk past somebody, they'll smell it for a second. They'll know you pass by and are wearing something. Longevity. Over eight hours on my skin, and stuff doesn't last on my skin. It's, it's the whole package. This is a power perfume. This is a power composition. Glad to finally have this on the channel. It's been in my arsenal for over a year. Knowing this is here and not being reviewed when I'm reviewing everything else, I'm like, what am I doing? But um, now that we're getting into this stuff, again, that's why so many high scores. Brandon, all love to you guys. Be blessed. I'm out.